Yo guys, what's up? Sure Goblin here. And on today's video, we're gonna go and do some exploring while it's not raining. So yeah, let's get to it. And by the way, I decided that for every video that I make, I'm gonna be wearing this mask. So yeah, you're gonna be seeing me wearing this mask a lot. Because I'm gonna get some use out of it, you guys. I'm not gonna leave it around in my bedroom like I do the other one. I mean, that's just retarded. I don't know why anybody would do that. But yeah, um... Oh my god, it's so fucking hard to breathe out of them. First things first, we're gonna go and check the mail. Nope, nothing in the mail. Alright, after this... We're gonna go and, um, check the woods a little bit. Alright, you know what? I can't. I can't wear this. So hard to friggin' breathe out of. You choke almost half the time. Yes. And also, if you'll excuse me, you guys are going to go use... Well, I, I was about to use the restroom. Give me a minute. Got to tie my shorts so my shorts don't keep falling off. All the time. All right, I'm gonna put on my glasses. And we're gonna go out. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a surprise because I don't know about you, but I was like, what the heck is that kid doing? What the deuce? You guys, there's a kid across the street that moved in, and he's banging on the bushes. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Um. So, um, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Um, we're gonna go in the woods. Some um... man, kid, what did those bushes ever do to you? I feel bad for those bushes, you guys. Um, but yeah, we're going to go in the woods here, have some fun. I don't really know what the definition of fun is anymore. I've gone to the point where I don't even care. And one of the challenges I'm going to try to do today is seeing if we can get from one side to the other. And not like from this side all the way over to that side. I mean from this side over to the other side to the clearing. Because if we can, then I can easily give me, buy me a machete or a machete and clear out some of the stuff. Like, I need to make me a trail again because it's ever since they cut everything down, everything has grown back up and then it's just chaotic. That's what it is. It's chaotic. And it's not... Like, you can barely even see the trail as it is. You can see where it turns right here. Like, see where it turns right there? But I gotta clean some of this stuff out so that way I'll know where the trail is. But usually you'd go past this tree over here. Follow this trail down. Right here. But after this, I don't know where it goes to. I don't know where the trail goes after this because it's all grown up. Ever since they went in here and cut this thing down, which, by the way, in my last wildlife video, I talked about this in my adventure video or whatever. I talked about how they went in here and just chopped everything down except for these trees. And, um, and I don't like that because then the, that's just causing everything to grow back up over the years. And it's been about four years since they come in and done and do they since they've come in here to do this. And they were gonna use it for like a parking space. They were gonna like gonna tear everything down, put concrete and make a park and build a parking lot. Well, I haven't seen any dumbasses do it. By the way, sorry for the language, but still. I mean I'm just trying to tell you guys my feelings and stuff about this place. I used to enjoy coming in here as a kid and getting the search for insects and and lizards and stuff like that but now i can't and this 
freaking thing is in my way. Look how thick it is. It wasn't ever this thick. It was really clear. All of this back there was all thick and thick. And you'd have one little trail coming down. We're going to have to create our own trail, guys. It's what we do. I might make a trail coming through here. Between these two trees. That way I know where it comes through. And you guys can see it. <clears throat> sort of. Ish. Maybe. I don't know. Ah. I'm going to be having myself cut up a lot of times today. See, this is where the trail used to be right here. Because I would hang on to this tree right here, hang on to this tree, and climb my way down. But now, how the, I'm just curious to know how the, oh, it rotted off right here. This tree right here, this big pine tree, was that right there. I still want to try to figure out if I can try to get down without injuring myself. Well, I can use this. Oh, shit. Uh, what is this? Okay, that's nothing new. Or interesting. Ugh. And see, I'd come out here like this. All right. See? Come out to this open. Holy shit. I'm sorry for the swearing, you guys. I try my best not to swear, but I just hurt myself. Ugh. Ah, ooh, yeah, I scratched myself up a tad bit, but that's nothing. Eh, a little scar won't ever hurt me too much. I've gotten plenty of scars throughout my life as a kid. Oh, and also, guys, I think I figured out what this is. Could, remember how last time, the last video that I talked to you guys about, like, I was out here and I saw this. I was like, what is this? Is this shoe or something? I think I might know what it is. This might go to, like, a golf, to, like, a golf set where you cover up the, the um, putter or whatever. I don't know what you call this stuff. Whew. Whew. That was difficult, you guys. That was real difficult. See, you can see the trail. If I zoom in, you could probably see the trail. But yeah. That was difficult, you guys. That was difficult. What the heck? What is this? Is this a whistle or something? No, that's not a whistle. That can't be a whistle. That's got to be some sort of vaping stuff. I don't know. I don't want to touch it, though, which I already did. I'm going to have to wash my hands when I get back home. But I guess I might just thought, why not just toss it out here? Yeah, nobody's going to see it. Yeah. If I had my boots on, I'd definitely kick that ant mound. Oh, shoot. You guys, I can't help but to do this. I got... Shared Goblin has to do this. What is this? Guess it's just some concrete or something. But yeah, Sher Goblin has to conquer this mountain. Uh, 
<laughs> Woo! Shard Goblin has conquered the mountain, you guys. But now, how the heck does Shard Goblin get down without injuring himself? That's the real, that's the real tough question. Hang on. Hold on, you guys. I gotta do this carefully, otherwise I could legit injure myself. Oh. That was fun. I don't care if I get bit in my ants or anything. To me, that was 100% worth it. It's definitely worth the risk. So, and also I want to let you guys know that if I do cut off from this camera, if this camera does stop filming, it's because it's running out of battery or it's running out of um, memory space. So... I gotta delete a few stuff when I get back home. But yeah, all of this used to be all covered up. All of this used to be covered up. Sort of like this. All the bushes, but there'd be... Th like, you wouldn't be able to even see in there. And that's what was so great. is because you could just crawl in there, find different stuff. Like, one time I found a lightsaber. Like, one of those lightsabers that you um, push the button up. It's one of those old lightsabers. But it was so good. And I used to have it. And, and I actually did own it for a while until it finally just tore up on me. And I had to throw it away. But it was one of those where you... Like, it's not one of those where you just have to sling it to pop it open. It's one of those with a button where you push up on the button and it pops out. Springs out. And then you put it back in. And it just clips in there. And you can clip it to your belt or whatever. And it, But it was so heavy. It was one of those really good lightsabers. I think it was the Darth Vader one. It was the... Like, I know there are two of them. There's Darth Vader and there's the Luke Skywalker one or Anakin Skywalker one. And it was so good. And I almost wanted to buy me a brand new one just because it was so good looking and I enjoyed using it. But I looked online I could never find one. And any ones I did find were used and they weren't very used well. But they were used and it just didn't work out at all whatsoever and and they were so expensive too like like around like somebody wanted to buy two thousand dollars for one like they were willing to they were willing to sell it for two thousand dollars who the heck buys a lightsaber for two thousand dollars especially one that's used and isn't in good condition like he told, like he did, he was honest about it and said like how the blade was torn up and stuff like that. And it was just, yeah, no. And there were a lot of comments on there saying, why would you buy a $2,000 lightsaber when the blade is torn up? The batteries don't ever work when you put new ones in. And it just won't work. Why would you want to buy one for $2,000? Uh, because it's the better of the deal. Yeah, no. I'd rather buy one for at least... I, I'm willing to buy one for at least $100. If it's past $100, then no. And if it's... But if it's one, it's brand new, I will buy one that's brand new. I'm not going to buy one that's over $2,000. i am not going to buy one that's around past $100. If it's past $100, no. So, just thought I'd give, tell you guys that little story. Um, 
and I, by the way, I love how I went from talking about being in the woods and stuff to finding lightsabers and toys and stuff. Look at all this. People throwing the litter out here. It's not cool, people. Don't do that. If you... Here's what me and Mama do, okay? Anytime me and Mama see this stuff, we're disgusted by it. One of the things we do is we always put our little bag in there or a garbage bag or something. We always put something to where if we need to throw something away, we can just throw it away in the garbage can. We don't have to be throwing it out and littering. Look at all this. All this right here, all of this trash comes from that place, the high school. So, yeah. It's absolutely retarded. And by the way, you guys, can you by any chance tell me what kind of berries these are and if they're edible? I don't think they are edible. I think they're poisonous. But let me know what kind of berries those are because I'm curious. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me exploring the woods. Shut up! Sorry, by the dogs pissing me off. Um, of me exploring the woods. I really enjoyed it. I will be, one day, you will be seeing a video of me with my machete coming in there and cleaning up stuff. Um, which I hope to do sometime this summer. I, I'm, at the most. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get a job. Which I am getting a job. But I'm not sure what kind of job I'm getting yet. I've got so many applications filled out. It's ridiculous. And I'm having help. So, yeah. Um, after that, um, this summer I might be working on this. Um, clearing out the woods a little bit. Making a little trail. And that way we can do some videos in the woods probably. I would love to make some dinosaur reviews in the woods. That would be awesome. That way I'm out of the side of mom. I can't even make my BB gun videos in there. I'd love to go in there and just shoot. That way anything that does shoot, it'll just ricochet and it'll bounce off until it doesn't bounce around anymore. You know? What the heck? What the heck? Oh, that's a mushroom. I better wash my hands because I don't know if that's poisonous or not. Let me know what kind of mushroom this is, you guys. Yeah. I don't want to risk touching it anymore. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Um, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Shark Goblin, out.